The V-Beam is a product trying to address our growing desire to put what's on our computer screens on the big screen. And if you've been wanting a flawless solution to wirelessly watch web videos on your TV, well, this isn't it, but it comes close. There are two versions of the V-Beam, a $100 model that only transmits in standard definition, and for $50 more, you get the option for HD, which is what I tested. It's incredibly simple to start using it. This box connects to your television, and this USB stick, which fits inside the nook when not being used, connects to your laptop. And once the software was installed, all I had to do was plug in the USB connector and I was up and running. As you can see, there's about a two second delay between the computer and the TV. So sorry, PC gamers, that means it's not gonna really work for you. The device uses up a lot of your computer's resources by transferring video. And normally I never have any video hiccups when I'm on a website watching a streaming TV show, let's say. But when using the V-Beam, everything is pretty smooth until I got into full screen mode. The higher demands caused my video to stutter a bit. Now videos saved on my hard drive, they did pretty well. If I popped in a DVD, I'll notice a little choppiness when there's fast motion or panning, but for the most part, the movie was still watchable. And there are some pretty strict system requirements to get this to run at its best. I tested it with Windows 7, and my laptop has a two gigahertz dual core processor with two gigabytes of RAM. If I had a more powerful computer, there's a chance it could have even been a slightly better experience streaming web videos. The device, though, can get pretty finicky on you. Like, randomly, it'll stop working, but I do commend the company for listing all the known problems it has, like how the computer can lock up on you if you just pull it out while playing a web video, at least they warn you. And what's great about the V-Beam is that it's a whole lot cheaper than Google TV and you're not blocked from going to sites like Hulu or stations like Fox and ABC. It's not perfect, but it's still suitable for watching video. You just better have a powerful laptop. For the Miami Herald, I'm Bridget Carey.